Is this thing on? Hello? Take our chance. How y'all doing? Family, friends, co-workers. Okay. We are now rocking to 528 hertz. It's a miracle tone to bring positive transformation in this time of need. I need y'all to calm down. I need y'all to breathe. And just, you know, do the inner work. Work with your children. It's a good time to, you know, level up on the spiritual practices with your children. Help them understand certain things. Have certain conversations with them. Any information you need is in the description box. Okay? So let's go ahead and get it rocking like a cutout stocking, honey. Because I got to do y'all surrender reading as well. Because whatever it is that may be um, you are going through and, and you are avoiding or possibly not... Um, confronting certain things in your life, we're going to look into it. Now then, angels, what do you have for the air signs? This is an air sign retinct. Thank you. Angels, what do you have for the air signs? Thank you. Heart. Trusting yourself. Um, bringing things. Here we are. Okay. Trusting yourself. All right. This is bringing more attention to um, are you making the right decisions? You um, really pulling back, pulling away from the crowd. So there may be some things that you um, agreed to, and now you are questioning if you should um, revoke an invitation here. It may be a connection that you have with someone from your past or um, something that you've been trying to work on uh, getting out of okay because what i'm getting here is that there's uh this is i feel like this is two different hands today okay and with these two different hands this hand here has um a strong uh it may be a toxic connection or something that you were um could be a toxic connection that you have with this person and they may be trying to penetrate your energy we got to talk about it one day we ain't gonna talk about it today okay now, we should be going live this weekend because I know it's a lot of fear and anxiety going around. We want to get to it and talk about it. But this may be a connection between you and a group of people or one person in particular where they, um, you are at the uh, end stage here of um, get, gathering yourself, getting yourself together so that you can uh, completely remove yourself from certain people, situations, or even places. This may even be that you are um, leaving your job or what have you. What, whatever this is, um, it's kind of pulling on you here. And it may have you uh, confused because you may be pulled in two different directions at one time. And it may be a challenge for you to uh, gather yourself to make the right decision or make a decision that has that pertains to either one person or a group of people okay um, you may be at a crossroads when it comes to um, your next move here now then okay these flowers at the bottom are giving me gap legs right at the under the hands those the leaves of that flower whatever that is now then <clears throat> with this connection okay it may not have been a sexual connection and it may have been seen as a sexual connection at first or some type of, the, whatever this connection is, it, it wasn't seen uh, for what it truly is. And I feel like it's going to be revealed to you. I also feel that um, something is pulling at your heart heartstrings here. No matter how much you try to pull away or try to move forward in a different, di move in a different direction, something is pulling you um, to center. So it's important for you to center yourself as well. I also feel that um of course even with what's going on um here in the world today but for you strongly this is strong um a strong need um to clear the air clearing the air oxygen more h2o right and why do i feel that i feel that um some of you may be in a space where you um are not sure 
about communicating. Okay, that's the H2O, H2O water. All right, so some of you may not be sure if you are um, the way that you communicate or how you have communicated certain things in the past with someone is the right way to do it or if it made sense to you. I mean, if it makes sense to them, you're worried about if something makes sense to someone else, but you are in touch with your truth in the situation is what they see it. So there's no need for you to be conflicted about that. Any ties that you have, I feel like you are slowly but surely getting out of those or removing yourself from those. Uh, you're in a clearing stage. So this work has been done for a while. You've been working on this for a while, and you're finally at a space where you're beginning to feel more free, more free to be yourself, more free from um, confinement here. Three little flowers. So there may be three different ideas that are blossoming or three things that you've worked on that have blossomed into something more than what you thought at first. Um, and it may be uh, become like a, a, some type of challenge to you to try and keep everything together or keep moving forward. There may even be a challenge with the children at this time, and you are unsure if um, going to work and trusting them at a daycare or going to work and trusting them at someone's home, something along those lines. Um, I really feel like you've done a lot of work with these children, and they you can trust in the process unless me personally. Okay, I was a latchkey child. So with latchkey children, we were trusted, number, what was it, first grade? Come home, lock the door, don't answer that motherfucker, right? I feel like these children are uh, very intelligent. So if they are at the age where they can understand certain things, you know your children, there's nothing for you to worry about. So they also want you to trust in that process as well. Now then. Somebody having triplets too. You may have thought that you were only pregnant with one child, and they get they pick up more heartbeats moving forward. Oh, okay. So by you doing the work and graduating and making sure that you are um, continuing to um, work from that heart space, right? By you doing the work and continuing to um, not be in fear of making the right decision, I feel that there are so many bright I, I get the sun card so let's see what's going on i get the sun card i feel like there's a bright a beautiful new beginning for you i feel like you'll be more confident your self-esteem will be boosted here in the uh, near future i also feel <clears throat> that what you have put the work that you have done and the work that you have the things that you are doing is going to reap uh, massive benefits whatever massive is to you right now then what is this for the air signs honey you. you gathered yourself with this chariot. You gathered yourself. You came out of this energy of being connected possibly to an earth sign or a water sign. This is Cancer here or a Capricorn, whoever. But when it comes to your finances, when it comes to what you've been working on, they want you to continue to assert yourself and move forward. They want you to know that, you know, the, the worst is behind you now. See that storm behind her? The worst is behind you now. You can move forward. Uh, you may have even been feeling kind of ill or um, you may have been feeling uh, ill in the past. That's what I'm getting with this storm, that you may have been having some type of respiratory issues and they've cleared up. There may have been some fear about that. You may have thought it was something else. Look at where we're at in time. Moving forward. Um, they want you to be mindful of your finances because they're saying here also that when it comes to um, he has a storm behind him too. Something happened out of nowhere, and that's why you need to uh, have this financial constraint. Of course, that's what's happening here in the world to date, right? But putting together certain strategies for the future, this is a time when you um, are looking at things from a more practical standpoint and making sure that you um, are geared up for any type of emergencies in the future. I also feel <clears throat> that with the duality of this, right, with the duality and with you just really um, – evening out some of the shadow work that you possibly have been doing with you, um, wanting to take a chance on moving and, and um, uh, moving, movement, okay? Some of you are ascending as well. This is a good time for that transformation as well and really um, paying attention to what's going on in your personal life, what's going on in your inter world, what's going on in your relationships, your household, um, okay? 
I feel like you'll be coming up with certain uh, types of um, ideas or certain types of, some of you may even be inventing something new or having um, one of those light bulb moments where you're unsure if you can trust how this will work out and it will again. So they, they are really um, on you about that, okay? Trust yourself, honey. All right? Now, I also feel that um, some of you may be in a space where you have to relocate or you have to um, move forward with the relocation or move forward with um, purchasing a new car. There's something that needs to be done at the sacrifice of something else, right? But they need you to stand in that truth. This is all about standing in your truth, standing in your power, and um, not needing anyone to... Um, you don't need anyone to uh, validate your decision. You don't need anyone to uh, validate how you move forward, right? Because there may have been a lot of confusion here in the recent past. There may have been uh, some things that have happened that kind of threw you um, off center, but at the end of the day, you will come up with a plan. You will come up with a way to move things um, according to divine order. You are, I feel like you're listening more. Clarify this for Pentacles. Yeah, you got savings. See how he got his foot on that coin? <laughs> like, I'm going to keep this one. Like, okay, that's the nest egg. He got his foot on it. He ain't letting nobody, he ain't going into that, not dabbling into it. I heard about what's been happening with people 401k. I really miss a 401k. Your money will pick back up. You'll be all right. Now, but this right here has a lot to do with um, savings. But also remembering that um, having the confidence to know with that chariot card, having the confidence to know that the decision that you make, the offer that is made, some of you may even be um, moving, um, uh, getting a new job during this at this time, right? It's business as usual in most places, honey. I'm sorry about that, y'all. Excuse me. I forgot that white balance is still on there. Now, <clears throat> be very vigilant, 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 vigilant in your um, the decisions that you make okay that's what I get with this sword that she has like you know you don't have time to um, allow anyone in your energy especially at this time you don't have the time to allow anyone in your energy that will try to stop your momentum you don't have any have time for anyone allowing anyone in your energy to try and stop you in your tracks or try and get in your way because that does happen when you are really on a mission but I also uh, get <clears throat> that it's still important for you to circulate energy, circulate um, the spiritual money. There's a need to do that because some of you may um, be in a space where you don't want to make um, any financial decisions after what you just went through. You are in a space of working on what you need to at this time, right? Taking your time because you've done a lot of work. You've um, focused. You focused uh, strongly here in the past. So here it is. You have the power to move mountains is what they see. Oh, King of Wands. So there may be uh, you and someone that you work with. So let me tell you how I'm seeing this real quick, honey. Now, paying attention to what it is that you need to when you need to, how you need to, okay? Things are beginning to pick up ever so um, effortlessly. Things are really picking up for you here because you've already made certain decisions that may have been rewarding and now you have a, a new way, a new outlook of how you want to move forward, the seeds that you want to plant to move forward, but you are foreseeing um, certain obstacles and that's okay. Right. Because some of you have come up with some great ideas at this time where, um, you know, the world may be in a panic, but you have this great idea. You have this new approach, this new um, thing that you can offer that can help this thing that you can finally sit back and work on now that you have the time to work on it. Right. This may be an um, old idea that you are um bringing back like dusting the ashes off of an old idea and really putting things into play setting goals and uh, creating the steps and being very confident having the clarity that is needed with this king of wands but this could also be someone uh, coming to this person may be someone who wants to work with you someone who may help you with your business someone who 
um, <clears throat> can help you with your finances. So hold on. This may also, I mean, I really feel like it could be. Let's clarify this guy. What is this King of Wands doing, honey? Some of you may have a Leo rising as well, and you're pulling that out when it comes to your work. And you're very clear about your direction. You're very clear about how you want to do things, how you think things should be done. And you're trusting more into your, in yourself and trusting in the process because a number of things have already worked out for you, honey. What does this King of Wands want with the earth signs, honey? Your direction. This may even be a spirit guide, but your direction is very clear. Um, very clear. This King of Wands is someone who um, has the logic, and he's determined, but he's very, he's very passionate, of course. But I also he, see where he has the, um, the mental of um, like an attorney. He has the mental of a teacher. He has the mental, the mentality. Now then, maybe someone who you confide in or confides in you on um, needing help with their direction. Okay, so beautiful. Now we got this four leading into this five of coin. Now, so there's nothing for you to worry about. Again, there's three storms here that you will make it through. There's um, that, and if it's not, uh, if you've already cleared out that energy and you're just waiting for the rest of it, the residual to really clear out so that you can see things clearly, it's here, it is coming, it is present. But I also feel that someone may see you as a star, or someone may hold you at a high regard. It may be this um, fire sign that holds you at a high regard. Um, they may be having some type of financial issues and are at an impasse where they don't know if they um, should move forward or not. Or they may have pulled back or, um, from the connection and within this next week or two you will hear from them or uh, they may want to take things for take move things forward. I feel like you may have a telepathic community uh, telepathic connection with this person, but I also feel that um, there's a lack of time, effort, and attention. There's a lack of finances here when it comes to dreams being revealed. There's uh, someone needs to between the two of you, someone needs to uh, see things from a brighter perspective because they may even feel that um, they have to help you, right? They may feel that they need to help you. And they really want to, but they're taking time out to reflect before they can make a decision. Okay. So that's you on a five sign, honey. Now, with this self-trust, all right. Let's see her. I'm sorry, y'all. All right. This assists with enthusiasm, trust, and confidence. The benefits are that it supports your respiratory system, releases tightness in the chest, Okay, let me find out. Let me find out. Let me find out. Okay. You've been having tightness in your chest and act like it ain't nothing. No. We spiritual beings? Okay, we having a human experience. Take your ass to the doctor. Moving forward. Now. Um, this is tightness in the chest, the ribs, and the back. It energizes and cultivates enthusiasm and self-confidence. It helps with depression. So that may be the energy that some of you are coming out of. You are finally healing and ready to partake in life again. You're ready to partake in um, regular, um, well, I know we have social distancing here now, but of course, you know, some of y'all still inviting your family and friends over or you are going to the family and friends' house. But coming out of this um, depression, I really feel, I'm going to put the cards up, I really feel that you needed this time. This has a lot to do with your confidence. This has a lot to do with um, you trusting your intuition more, I feel, and really getting in tune with what do you what do you really want what is your heart what are your heart's true desires it's like you're really getting to that okay now um this okay so it helps with depression now you'll hold your hands like this okay and hold your hands in front of your heart and chest with your elbows relaxed downward your focus is or your affirmation will be unshakable confidence guides my journey forward Unshakable confidence guides my journey forward. Unshakable confidence 
unshakable confidence guides my journey forward. We are not confusing confidence with cocky. We're not confusing confidence with conceit. This is you trusting in the process. This is you trusting in the divine. This is you trusting your intuition. This is not allowing um, other people to invade your momentum. Okay? Who know better what to do for you than you? Because when you get, if, if you're at this age or older, you're going to already know. Okay? It's good to take other folks' opinions and views into consideration. But at the end of the day, you are responsible and accountable for you. Let's see what you need to surrender at this time. Because I really need y'all to calm down. I do. If I got to calm down, y'all got to calm down. Now, I do expect it. Now, like I just said a while ago, you ain't got to do what nobody tell you. I suggest. Angels, what do you have for the earth signs? What do they need to surrender, work on, or what have you? Don't forget to do your emotional to-do list. Now. I'm in love with the stripper. She got it. She rock. This is some good music. Whatever good music is to you at this time. Angels, what information do you have for the earth signs, honey? No, they all up in their head. We got three cards, they see, and here we are. We turn them around. Surrender worries, surrender to your passion, and surrender denial. Don't that go with trusting yourself? I need to make this two different videos. Just to remind y'all, it's next week. Maybe that's what I need to do. Surrender worried. Make a commitment not, okay, make a commitment not to lead an anxiety-driven life. That's enough right there. When worries arise, breathe them out of your body. Focus on the power of your heart and have faith that spirit is guiding you always. I just said all this. Let's see what the next one say. Surrender to passion. Okay. Maybe some of y'all getting a little something. Okay, I'm going to be an earth sign at this time. It might be cute. Now then, get out of your head and feel the fire in your belly. Okay, that's that Leo energy. Focus on the people or activities that ignite your passion and let it flow. This you, letting it flow. Hmm? Hmm? Ain't that what you're doing? Get ignited, honey. Have them conversations. Okay? Read something funny. Surrender to denial. Now, I think I'm getting something else with this because some of y'all are not seeing things for what they are. Trying not to see. No, that's not what it is. No, spirit ain't nudging me. No, that can't be. Okay. How long you gonna? Okay. Now, accept people and situations exactly as they are. When they show you, what my say? When people show you who they are, believe them. Right? Now, without, deny, without denying the difficulties. See shit for what it is and don't deny the difficulties. That's what it said right here. Now then, they said, then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions. It's about you trusting in yourself. I'm not finna be repeating myself because, you know, that's just not what we finna do. And whoever the fuck bought up all the toilet paper like that, like they wasn't gonna restock, Price gouging, gouging, gorging. I think it's called gouging. I don't know. It's just too much, okay? I didn't even know the severity of everything that was going on until a few back some days. I didn't know, okay? Because it's good for you to not get um, involved in all of the hysteria. It's some serious stuff, okay? But try not to get so involved in the hysteria, that you lose your cool, lose yourself, have your kids running around here going crazy and shit. You got a household to run. And they need to, a good role model in front of them. Like, okay. Okay. Get their ass a tent and let them camp out in the living room. Find something fun to do. At the house. I heard people got curfews and stuff. I can't watch all that stuff. Because, you know, it then it started affecting you. It's been business as usual around her. Okay, take the necessary precautions as usual. 
Washing your hands ain't nothing new. Around this time, anyway, every year, it's gonna be something, right? So we already know. Take care of ourselves, man. Take your damn vitamins, eat your damn weedies. I'm gonna go. Gotta do these other reasons. I'm still here talking to y'all about this.